Hey man, thank you for tuning in. Got Easy Go RXV here. Um, you're looking at proper two. Let's see what kind of controller it has in it. A Danny Rush controller, probably 2008, 2010, somewhere in there. Um, the problem the guy was having was the golf cart didn't run. Uh, so I'm gonna turn the key on. put in forward and if you listen closely you can hear a buzzing sound coming from the controller and what that means is that the e-brake failed the startup sequence when you turn the key on so it's shutting the key down it's shutting the car down for safety so the car don't run and it really depending on which software you have in the controller um, the earlier software uh, won't alert you to brake slipping the car just won't run um, but after the software has been updated then it'll beep in forward to let you know the brake is slipping and what you want to do here I've already took the two bolts out um, then after I took them out I thought I'd show you all video what it's doing but there's three 10 millimeter bolts uh, just take it one here, one here, and one on the other side. And then also you have a harness on the top side here that you just pick up on the pigtail. You see there, you just pick up on that little plug right there, and it unlocks, it unlocks the harness uh, for the e-brake. Then you just want to unbolt the brake. Now one of the things I'm going to tell you, man, a lot of people don't know, when you put this back on, the bolt back on. Uh, don't he man it. Uh, just snug it down a little bit because if you he man it, you end up burning the new brake up. Then what I'm gonna do now is get try to get this brake off with of one hand as I can show y'all how it comes off. I'm gonna shake it. Normally they just slide right off, but of course. You don't want to come off. I know I'm gonna get a couple comments. Somebody complaining about I'm making a motion sickness. Well, I got to say about that. If you don't like the video? Keep scrolling, buddy. Keep scrolling. All right, give me one second, man. And every once in a while you get something like this here, you got to get a screwdriver or something to back there to get it off. Because it's so hot it's melting. What the fuck? Struggle's real, fella. Struggle's real. The struggle is real, but I'm telling you. All right, man. But what you want to do is make sure when you get the e-brake off that it's slotted. So you want to put it back on the slot on the motor shaft as well as the e-brake. If not, you will uh, bust the center of the brake. All right, man, stay tuned, man. I'll post more videos, man.